Which is bigger, two to the square root of seven or the cube root of five to the square root of 10? Wow, so we have a lot of radicals that we need to deal with. So to start with, I'll stick a guess and we can change it later, but let's guess that two square root of seven is gonna be greater than. And what I'm gonna do when I rewrite the expression here, I'm gonna just turn this cube root into a one third power. So I'll write this as five square root of 10, and we'll write this all in parentheses with the one third power. But then I can multiply this inside here as five square root of 10 over three. And now we have, I like this a little better because then we just have one base and one exponent, even though we have radicals in both. Now, for the next step, I want to address that. We want less, we don't want radicals in the exponent if we can help it. So what I'm gonna do is let's multiply both sides. Not multiply, we're gonna raise both sides to the power of square root of seven. Then that'll allow us to multiply again inside the parentheses. So we'll have on the left side two, square root of seven times square root of seven is just gonna be seven. We're hoping that's gonna be greater than five. Multiplying this inside, we're gonna have square root of seven times square root of 10 is square root of 70 all over three. And from here, I can notice that two to the seventh is 128. And typically in a which is bigger problem, we wanna find a point of comparison, right? We wanna find like um, an, a power of five that's similar to our power of two. And in this case, we have our, we're, we're, this is why we have our assumption that the, the left side is gonna be greater. So we'd like to have a power of five that's less than 128. And we notice that five cubed is 125. So I think that would be a perfect point to compare to. So let's write our two to the seventh equals 128, which is greater than 125, which is just five cubed. And for this whole thing to work, we want five cubed to be greater than five to the square root of 70 over three. And now the good thing with this is we've actually created a much simpler, which is bigger problem is we're comparing, we can compare these two, but because they have the same base of five, we can just compare three to the square root of 70 over three. And there's a few ways to do this. What we could do is we can multiply both sides by three just to get this to cancel. And then we have, uh, we're comparing nine to square root of 70. And now if we square both sides, we'll see on the left side we have nine squared, which is 81. And that's gonna be greater than square root of 70 squared is just 70. So that's gonna be a true statement right there. And so if that's true, then this piece right here must be true. And so then two to the seventh is gonna be greater than five squared of 70 over three. Then all we did to get to that point was raise everything to the square root of seven. So that means that our original statement, two to the square root of seventh must be greater than the cube root of five to the square root of 10. Just to check our work, I used the calculator before I recorded that video and found that two squared of seven is about 6.2582. And the cube root of five squared root of 10 is somewhere about 5.45. So, that just verifies our work, so that's correct.